welcome back to my channel. This is Raven, and we're here with another plan with me video. So obviously, I am in something different this week. I am gonna try using the Hobonichi Weeks, and this is the Weeks Mega in the strawberry color. And I am super excited because I've been seeing this everywhere and I really, really wanted to try it. Luckily for me, one of my planner friends on Instagram, Grisilda, I'll link her Instagram down below. She accidentally purchased an extra Hobonichi and she was able to sell it to me. So I am so happy and so thankful. Thank you so much, Grisilda. I very, very, very much appreciate it because now I get to see what all the hype is about. Now let's get into the actual planning. So this week is my best friend Sarah's birthday. Happy birthday, Sarah! Woo! I am so happy and so excited for her. She is doing amazing you guys like this girl is so independent and is so fiercely just driven to do her best in her life and I just fully support you Sarah and I'm right here by your side she's in a doctorate program for occupational therapy she is doing her thing I'm so proud of you and I love you so this week I'm just using this beautiful kit from Plush Paperies. I honestly love Plush Paperies kits. They are very good quality. The colors are always amazing, outstanding. I get them super fast. They're just they're just great guys. So I'm just gonna go ahead and explain what comes in this kit and then we'll get right into it. It comes with these glitter headers in these four different colors. You get a pink color, kind of like a blushy, maybe like a rose gold kind of color here, a like an icy blue, and then like a darker blue color. Then you get the full boxes. So this is a mini kit, just so you guys know. So mini kits come with three sheets, and then you can add on a glitter headers if you would like. So the full boxes, of course, is a birthday themed. So you have a birthday cake, some balloons, a wrapped present, a girl holding a balloon, um, some type of mixed drink here, some ribbon, some more balloons, some cake and plates and forks and whatnot, and then a full box that says happy birthday. So cute, and it comes with some quarter boxes at the bottom. The next sheet, you get some half boxes, a weekly tracker, a habit tracker, some script and icon Stickers there, you also get some heart scallop checklist as well as two scalloped quarter boxes. And then the last page you get some bottom washi as well as two headers, a weekend banner, some more script lettering stickers, icon stickers, icon dots, and some flags here. And I am super excited, so let's get into it. I am so nervous to use this for my first week in my Hobonichi but I think it will be fine. Fingers crossed it goes. Okay, let's hope for the best, everyone. Hey guys, so I'm just gonna go ahead and voice over what I did for this plan with me, cause it is a bit different compared to my mini happy planner. It's still kind of the same process, but just a little, little bit different. So the first thing I did was work on the washi. So I laid down the bottom washi there and I just used my cutter bee scissors to cut it out. This first side was very easy for me to do. Um, there wasn't much trick or anything to it, but the second side was a lot harder and I actually went ahead and kind of skipped over it because it took me a long time to cut the bottom washi. So definitely next time, try to measure it out and then lay it down because it was just incredibly hard. So here I just kind of measure it out and I cut where I think would be enough space for the washi to lay down with my scissors as you can see here and then I go ahead and lay it down and it kind of bubbled a little bit but it was my fault because I wasn't taking my time laying this washi strip down but when it was time to actually cut it it was extremely extremely hard and frustrating I even cut some of the paper but of course as I said you didn't see it because I go ahead and skip over this because it took me like I want to say at least five minutes to try to cut the spot on washi. Like, look at my hands right now. When you see, I'm kind of confused. Like, how do I cut this out? How? Because I can't see the lines and it wasn't working there. And it was just, oh, such a mess. And I was messing up too on the rounded corners part. And it was very hard. So definitely measure before you lay on the washi. So after that fiasco, I decided to go ahead and make some thin 
washi strips using the leftover washi that I just cut up. So right now I use my EK Tools tweezers just to go ahead and pull up one of these strips and I laid down the top there on that grid side section. So I decided to use my top section as a this week section. So I lay that down and then I use a purple this week header from the kit and I put that over it. So I just cut off this little excess right here that's kind of overhanging from where the grid space is and then I lay that header down right after. Next, I lay down the Monday through Sunday weekly tracker just to track my dinners. And I'm sorry that I have my planner on the side. You'll see during this plan with me, I keep moving it to the side and upright and back and forth. I just try to make sure I have it down nice and straight and correctly. It really bugs me when stickers are crooked. So you guys know that's a pet peeve of mine. So I lay down a habit tracker as well. And then a purple heart scallop checklist. I just lay it down to fill up that space there for any to do's that aren't day specific. And I just use my scissors to cut off the excess because I just want it all to be one big section. Next, I lay down some full boxes. So I wanted to use some from the kit. I didn't know exactly how I wanted to do it, but I decided to do some layering. So I laid down a balloon and confetti full box on its side, as well as the happy birthday full box right on top of it, just to add a nice decoration. I then go ahead and lay down some more of that excess washi that I had left over and make another thin strip to make another section on that grid side page of the Hobonichi Weeks. I also cut off the excess as I did before and then I lay down the header that says important just for big important to do's that I have going on for this week. Um, I'm not really sure how I'd want to do the bottom half of this section on this page but I thought this would be a good way to use it for this week. So I just lay down three half boxes just to mark any things that are coming up that I feel are especially important which I'm actually glad I did because I did use these this past week and it, it was very helpful. So I just go ahead and lay those three half boxes down to kind of show you guys what the bottom and top page of the right side looks like and then I move over to the Monday through Friday sections. So when I found out that I was going to buy the purchase from Griselda, I did a ton of research, like watched a bunch of plan with me's and researched and looked up a bunch of Hobonichi posts in Facebook groups that I was in because I wanted to see how to actually use this planner functionally. And I really, really liked and enjoyed how a lot of people were doing like a top three to do's for each day in their Hobonichi. And so I wanted to do that as well. So luckily, with this kit, the heart scallop checklist fit three hearts to one box per day. And I decided to go ahead and just lay them out. And I use a dashboard insert. I think it's the Miss Maker dashboard. It's size for the mini happy planner. I use that and my EK slice tool to go ahead and slice up these heart checklists. I just alternate the colors. So I use like a purple color with a light blue, then a dark blue, and then I finish it off with the pink right in the middle. And I just love how this came out. I'm really glad I was able to use these heart checklists because usually I only use like about two or maybe three in a whole week and I was actually able to use them. And these have been so functional for me this week, you guys. This is something I'm definitely gonna keep doing in this Hobonichi because I really love just kind of prioritizing and focusing on three big tasks for the day. It really made me feel productive and I felt like I was actually getting things done. But just so you guys know, with plush paper reuse paper, it is thicker. When I was going over with my slice tool, I felt like sometimes I had to go over it multiple times to get it to go down correctly and cut through the actual sticker paper. And a couple of times I pushed down too hard with my slice tool and it went through the other side of the Hobonichi page. So that's one thing to be aware of, is just to be very, very careful when you're using a slice tool in this planner. So the next thing I wanted to do was to mark big events or things happening for the week. And if you have a Hobonichi or if you've seen any of the Hobonichi plan with me, you know that there's a lot of different ways to section off this planner. Like it is very, very versatile. But what I've been seeing is that some people use that last box on each day section to kind of go ahead and fill in events of things that are happening. So that's what I wanted to do. So the 10th is Sarah's birthday, so I went ahead and used an extra piece of leftover washi and I put it over um, that last section for the 10th and there was some overhang so it definitely was going over 
to Thursday, so I decided to use that dashboard from Miss Maker as well as the slice tool to go ahead and cut off the excess so it fits a perfect little square. So I did it for the 10th so I can mark Sarah's birthday as well as the 14th because there is a planner meetup that I wanted to go to and I want to mark that my planner. So I went ahead and marked my planner meetup in my planner but then upon looking for the location of our meetup, I realized that it's like about an hour and a half away and it was just way too far for me to commute and yeah, so I didn't go into the planner meetup but I still wanted to mark it just, just because I would like to mark them anyways. So for Sarah's birthday, I go ahead and use a balloon sticker that's from the kit and I use the Hobonichi Teco pin. I think this is a uni ball pin. I'm not exactly sure what type of this is. I just go ahead and mark Sarah's birthday and then for the 14th, I lay down a planner sticker as well as planner meetup and the time that the meetup is supposed to be in my planner as well. Here you see I go ahead and lay down my mini happy planner underneath the whole Benichi just so that it's an even flat surface for me to write on. I write really hard so I felt like when I was writing on the left side of the planner I was having trouble with my hand hitting the right side of the planner. So that's just one thing to note too, but I'm pretty sure like as the months goes on, it's gonna be pretty even for me and easier for me to write in here. So let me get started with Monday. So since this is my first week in my Hobonichi weeks, I decided not to pull any of my own personal stickers into this week. I only use stickers from the kit. So for Monday, I had to get gas and I had to buy lunch. So I paired it with a dollar sign icon sticker. For Tuesday, uh, one of my clients canceled, so I wrote that down just so I was aware. And Bryant day off was on Tuesday as well but I kept nagging him to clean out his closet so I put that Brian had to do his closet project because his closet's been a mess and it's been driving me insane and I just paired it along with a cleaning bottle sticker from the kit and on Wednesday I had to print out some class clearances for a new kid I'm working with that's in schools you had to get a whole nother set of clearances to work in schools so I had to get that done and I also wanted to clean out my inbox for work and my own personal one because it has just been very messy for Thursday, I couldn't think of anything, so I left it blank. And for Friday, I used a Friday sticker from the kit and a payday sticker to mark Brian's payday. And I just drew a little doodle arrow there just to set it up. So for Friday, I laid on a coffee sticker because I've honestly have been abusing my power of going to Starbucks whenever I want to now, thanks to work. So I want to just reward myself now every Friday after a whole week of working to get Starbucks. So I just marked that down so I can do that. And then Saturday, I laid on a laundry basket sticker because I obviously need to get laundry laundry done. Um, I also write down I need to fold and hang my clothes because I am the worst. I'll just leave my clothes in my basket and yeah, I need to get on top of that. Then after that, I laid on a movie night sticker because me and Brian are going to stay home and have a movie night because next week we're going to take the kids to go see Shazam. And on Sunday, I had to make a reminder to go and buy snacks for the meetup because I didn't have going after all. I don't have to do that. And that's pretty much it. So this is it, everyone. This is my finished week in my Hobonichi weeks. And wow, I am very surprised. I really love how simple and functional this feels. Like it's so small, but I feel like it has a lot, if that makes sense. With my mini happy planner, there is no way I could fit any of this into my little note section that comes in my mini happy planner. So I'm really excited that I get a whole page to just kind of choose what I wanna do, if that makes any sense and I am loving it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys what I have left from the kit. I have a ton left of this mini kit because I did not use much of it at all, honestly. So <laughs> I'll just show you guys. I didn't use any of the glitter headers. I only used two of the full boxes. I didn't use any of the quarter boxes. I used about half of the half boxes, the weekly, and some of the script lettering and a good chunk of the heart checklist, which usually I only use about like two in a regular week. And then I did use the bottom washi. Um, again, a couple more of those icons and that's pretty much it. So I definitely still have a full kit that I can use. I might save for another birthday, maybe for my birthday week. We'll see. Thank um, you guys so much for watching. Be sure to go ahead and give this video a like and be sure to subscribe if you're new for my channel. If you're not, you're a constant viewer. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. I so very much appreciate it. And I want to know, what do you guys think about the Hobonichi Weeks? Do you guys have one? Are you enjoying it? Are you thinking of getting one? 
Jane? Are you someone that's kind of just tired of hearing about the Hobonichi craze? I'm just very curious to know because I was kind of on the fence and then I was like, okay, I really want to try that out. And I actually have it and I'm using it. I'm like, wow. This is really simple and awesome and still cute. So I'm really excited about that. So again, thank you guys so much for viewing and I'll see you guys next time for another video. Bye!